The what? What'd you say? Don't don't beg for a tsunami, bro. <laughs> You want some aura? Come on and get you some now. <laughs> yeah. Stress on my mind, it's a nice day to go. Yeah, I got a line, I'm a caller, the whole team. Ah. All right, guys, so I am finally chillaxing with the vets on this group. This is something that they've started multiple, multiple years ago. And yes, <laughs> some of us have been out a while. Uh, you know, we're enjoying the life, you know, many of what we have. You know, sign that dotted line for an open-ended che check, you know what I mean? And so these guys have put together this Veterans Day or Veterans Weekend where we can, you know, associate with other vets, you know, and just be able to talk on the level that many don't really understand unless you have served in our military. And for us, it's jokes like this, catching them when they're least expecting that somebody's watching. <laughs> <laughs> I was creeping up along the boat like that and you started, I was like, oh, God. <laughs> so we are on Sam Rayburn Lake and this is one of the islands that is out there. Um, one of the guys lives on the lake, so he, he knows of some secluded spots where we can go and chill and we got our other guys coming in with the jet skis right now as well and i'm just trying to find a spot where i can hang the phone so that way it doesn't overheat and i was going to hang it on that side but there's there was no way for me to do it without uh, it being in the shade so i don't know always got to be thinking two steps ahead with this thing but we'll see how it goes So right here is when I realized that I lost my glasses. and But in that little bit, I was like, man, where did I drop them? And I remember jumping in the water, but I had to make sure, you know, I backtracked my steps and look for it. But I'll find them. It'll, they'll, they'll pop up somewhere. They actually had a little flotation deal on there. And, well... But still, they're not floating, so somewhere. But we're going to catch up, get my sunscreen on. As you can tell, guys, I am wearing my shirt. And we're cheersing to freedom right there, guys. They're like, the camera's going. I said, yeah, it's over there. And so cheers to everybody and all vets around. Guys, without y'all serving the way y'all have. And, you know, God bless you and their families as well. This is to all of y'all to go on out and enjoy our freedom, guys. And trust me, the vets that know vets, we are razzing the hell out of each other. I mean, this is a trip just to have shits and grins and have a good time. And we're about about it.
married once for my left hand. This one right here? Uh huh. He's got a puncture with some ice. Okay. So you can shotgun this one. <laughs> Good. Shotgun it. Open it in. Alright, guys. So. Just to give you a heads up, we got multiple Marines, multiple Army guys all together for this weekend event. Again, you know, between vets, we crack jokes and we're hard on each other because that's just, that's what the way we are. You know, we crack jokes and have fun and, you know, nobody takes it to heart. You know, that's living free without worrying about living in your feelings, guys. But I guarantee you, you know, if any one of us is getting attacked by anybody else other than another vet, you know we all gonna have each other's back and stuff like that that's one of the things you learn when you know it doesn't matter really what branch you're in most vets will help each other out through it through thick and thin because that's the way we know we got each other's back or we got each other's six but on this video i did notice some things as i was sitting here watching him and you know it has nothing to really do with the uh, the things we were doing but it also does because you know when you're always fishing you're always paying attention to your environment around you one of the things that I've always talked about was not using sunscreen or any kind of off or anything like that on your, on your skin when you're handling baits well for us we weren't fishing but so everybody was you know <laughs> light tone so they were using sunscreen well, as we get they get in the water you can see the um, materials of the you know the chemicals from the uh, sunscreen form like an oil slick around us and stuff like that that just gives you kind of an insight too of what it does with your bait and when it's on your hands guys so just kind of you know giving you a little heads up on that and stuff like that um, as the wind picks up you can see it even more because it's happening the other thing too as the wind is picking up if you look at the very beginning of the video we were all pretty much in one place however as the video goes on you can see the chemicals start to dilute and we are also getting pushed over a lot more to the left and mind you this is very I mean you know maybe five to ten mile per hour wind but it's enough to create some kind of small current and enough to get us to move further and further to the left. That is just some food for thought. We're in a lake, guys. We're not even in the ocean. Whereas the ocean has a lot more currents all the time. So add a little wind, you can, now you can see how much more powerful it can be. You know, with, when you're able to put some, some kind of marker out there to be able to check it out. And, you know, we're bobbing around, you know... Uh, trying to float as much as we can so a few of the guys could float i told them i can't do it like i showed them i sink like a rock I, even with this extra um protective layer of fat around my gut area it um i still sink like a rock it's because my body density is a lot thicker you know than than others you know some and they just float so easily i know one kid that he he was slim and he could float and i was like man what the hell why can't i do it I don't know guys, I, I couldn't do it. I do remember that when I was doing my uh, uh, scuba certification, there was a time where you had to sit there and float without swimming or paddling. So what I did was I swallowed air just so I had some kind of flotation in my body to allow myself to do that because, I mean, trust me, no matter how hard I tried and tried and slowed my breathing, long deeper breaths, I mean, arching my back trying to get myself to float I could not do it so yeah I was kind of showing them that deal and everybody was kind of showing off that they could do it you know <laughs> it sucks for me but you know like I said guys we're, we're slowly moving moving to the left you know as we're playing longer in the water the materials the sunscreen starting to wear off on the guys and stuff like that but you know it's a, it's a good it's a cool thing. It, the water was really beautiful, and nice. You know, uh, even the boats came around; they didn't come too close, you know, to our area and stuff like that. And we were just finding a place to chill and catch up, since we had most of us hadn't seen each other since the last time we got together last year. Uh, most of these guys do work together, and uh, so they they get to razz each other on a lot more. <laughs> And trust me, the, some of the pictures that I'm doing on here and some of the video portions is because that's what we do, guys. We 
we know how to have fun and just you know not take things to heart and have fun with each other and stuff like that so it's pretty cool guys and you're gonna see the kind of life we we put out there and stuff like that and right there you see where i moved all the way to the right i was starting to notice i was i was thinking man we're moving too far that way we might be out of the camera range and stuff like that so i moved over some to ensure that we kind of stayed there but even then you can see how quickly you know we, we kind of got pushed back that way and i don't know it's just food for thought but it was doing it so we were <laughs> getting ready to leave and right here i saw my brother <laughs> and yeah i had to catch him eating because he's got a new growth on his head and stuff y'all can remember my tiger tribe many many years ago it was actually before i started my youtube channel and uh i cut something like what he has there but it's just on one side and it was an inch thick and about six inches long and so uh, yeah so we were razzing him about his haircut and all stuff like that but while he was sitting there eating the chips I was like hmm most people get embarrassed when they're sitting there caught on camera and stuff like that but as you can tell we just don't care <laughs> yep yep let it rip